God's grace is sufficient. What man says is impossible with God shall never be impossible. That's grace. And mercy is when when they or it thought it would take you out and you still rose up and was able to say, Great is your mercy towards me, your love and kindness towards me, your tender mercies towards me day after day forever faithful to me your loving kindness towards me hallelujah i will forever praise you lord day after day Let's write over it right quick. I love you, Jesus, my Lord. Even when I fall down, you are always right beside my bed. Night after night, when I down you said look up lord in you i will always trust the car is your baby thank you for loving me oh, Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus is Lord, oh, oh, oh holy, oh. Jesus, you are. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> I said 10 minutes. The Lord said, girl, sit down. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Most importantly, the Lord loves us most. Now, remember, Great is God's mercy towards you. Nothing can remove you out of his hand. He loves you. Why would he die for you if he thought that you would do something in your life that was so bad that he wouldn't take you back in if he knew the end of your life? God knows your beginning and your end. So if he knows your end and he chose you, then why would he, you and I think that whatever we did was too bad for God to forgive and move us past? 
okay? So when you need a reminder, come back to this video. All right, when you need a reminder, go back to Luke chapter 22. Or when you need a reminder, just open up the book and let it read to you by letting your eyes read the words and let him talk to you. Spend time with God and make space and time for your family too. And if you don't have physical family, Jesus is our earth, I'm sorry, our spiritual, our spiritual family. Him, the Father, the Holy Spirit, and the angels encampeth around us. And I, if I could,